hello and the usual welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here I'm Adam and if you are a returning subscriber returning viewer you already know who it is so as you can see in the title today we are talking about Yoshi cosmetics so she has a lot of things in her range she has makeup remover lipsticks eyeshadows but the first thing she brought out to lunch lunch to launch Yoshi it's, I don't know if you can see are the makeup brushes that was the first thing she brought so that's the first thing I'm going to review if I should say so a little backstory I got the Yoshi brushes when it first launched so I got like the whole discount I got to see Mr. Suleiman do the demo with the brushes and everything so yeah OG anyways I've had these brushes for almost two years Yoshi was one last year in December so well for a while I've had the Yoshi brushes for a while and they've not failed me yet well I've lost my spoolie the head of my spoolie missing and I've misplaced one of the brushes but yeah let me stop blabbing let's get into the video so the format of the video is going to be I talk about the brush then I'll show you the demo talk about the brush show you the demo so hopefully it's quick I don't know so this is how it looks it comes like this but first of all it comes first of all it comes in a box like this this is the old packaging it now comes with a clear top like the top is transparent but this is the old packaging so it comes here and it has the instructions on the back so it has the, the brush and the instructions on the back what is useful basically and then this also comes with um, a makeup bag or a pouch or the brush holder so this is where you can store your brushes when um, yeah because you can't obviously you can't keep them here so this is where you store your brushes or you can store your brushes in a makeup holder and then this is my DIY makeup holder if you know Kool-Aid you know so not come to do the whole spraying stuff like that but yeah so you can do that and then keep your makeup like your powder your powder brush like a few things lip gloss and stuff in this when you're on the go with that, when you're traveling <laughs> okay so let's do this first so we're going to start like just according to how I did my makeup the first thing I did was fill in my brows so well, I didn't fill in my brows. I have micro bleeding, so all I did was conceal my brows. So I used these two brushes. So I showed you. Is it I? I? 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 Is it I?
next thing is who is hot with all these lights and I found it off. Anyways, the next thing is the buffer brush. So this is what you use to blend your foundation. So I use this to either blend my foundation or my concealer. That's what I use this for. Sorry if I keep looking, I'm looking at the screen of my camera. But yeah, that's what I use this for. This blends your foundation so flawlessly. Unless your foundation is a little dry and matte and dries early and you applied it well, it still can fix it. Like, this brush is honestly very good. It's my favorite. It's very versatile. You can use this for contouring, like liquid or cream contour. You can use this for foundation. You can use this for concealer. You can use this for powder even. Like, if you're, if you're using a powder foundation, you can use this for it. So, I love this brush. brush I don't wear blush so I don't use this for blush but this fits perfectly under your eye so I use this to, normally I use a beauty blender but for the sake of this tutorial I, I use this to set under my eye like my eye under eye concealer and stuff like that so that's what I use the blush brush for <laughs> brush it's the contour brush this is very lightly packed it's not as dense as the foundation brush so use the foundation brush for your cream and liquid contour and use this for powder contour as I'm showing so you just use it if it goes of the angle it fits right in your cheek chin contour area <laughs> it fits right there so this brush is also good for powder contour blending brush so this is the crease brush so use this to apply like your how do you call that thing not your crease color your transition color yes yeah, so use this to the first shadow this blends very well it's very good if you want like a diffused blended transition shade this is very good and the next one is the densely packed this is also an eyeshadow brush but this is more densely packed this is not as you can see there's a difference it's not as lightly packed as this one is light this one is more dense so this one i use for more darker shadows to apply your outer like your outer v to create like that smoky effect to, yeah to create that smoky effect you get me yeah and then this is also an eyeshadow brush but this is more of a flat brush this is more to blend shadow under your eye like your lower lash line or to apply shimmer that's fantastic at applying shimmer or cutting your crease anything liquidy or shimmery this brush is good for that
next thing i don't normally use i don't do eyeliner so what i showed it's not an eyeliner it's an eyebrow gel but i use it because it's very dark 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 brown so this is what the brush looks like it comes on at an angle very easy to apply eyeliner because i am not very good at applying eyeliner so this makes it very very easy is what you use to brush your brows but it's basically off and then the next thing is the lip brush so this lip brush is very good for makeup artists or even if you don't want to like get your gloss dirty if it's really, if your gloss is like a dip a dip of gloss like like these ones if it's a clear color you don't want to keep like dipping you can use your lip brush you apply this put on your hand then use your lip brush to apply and your lip just blend it out also the last brush the last brush is the biggest brush in the palette that is the powder brush so everybody knows what a powder brush is probably one of the oldest brushes to ever exist so this brush is basically used to you know powder my face I'm sweating so this brush is basically used to overall powder to blend everything out your finishing powders it can be even used to set like your under eye to sweep away excess like baking if you bake just overall for your neck overall powder so this is what this brush is used for so yeah if you want the yoshi brushes i'll advise you it's a 15 15 piece 15 piece first brush so i'll advise you to go for them if you are a beginner it has everything you need you don't even need a beauty blender with this it has everything you need in it so i advise you to go for it very good brush and yeah she did well when she was making these brushes also note these brushes are made of synthetic synthetic <laughs> synthetic fibers so they wash easily you just don't have to use harsh so if you want a video on how to wash your brushes and how to keep your tools clean well i don't have to ask you it's coming anyways i'll make one because i have i make my own brush cleaner soap at home like we make soap at home so i make my own brush cleaner something suitable for my brushes so that's what i'm using to wash these brushes since i got them so hopefully i'll show you how to clean the brushes but yeah that's all that's all i have for you today any other thing you want to see also she sells these brushes individually so if you want just a contour brush or you've misplaced your shadow brush or anything like that she will get she will, like you can get it from here individually at a lower cost the whole set is about 160 170 cents i'll leave the price down right here but yeah that's that's all i think i'm rambling too much that's the end of the video don't forget to leave a comment like you notice i don't say subscribe again because it's not all your subscribers that watch your videos anyway so if you are watching just make sure you give a thumbs up and leave a comment and yeah share to your friends who are interested in getting this brush set thank you and bye